Hello, this is Eric of Nopaos, and here I have the Meono Caster Light. Star of the show right here. This is pretty sweet looking if I say so. It's actually my first time ever seeing this. And then below that we have the different things. This comes with the basic microphone. Of course, the question is, what am I going to go through in this review? I'm going to test with different devices. I'm going to be testing this device with the Rode NTG to see if it works, the Sennheiser MKE 600, and WM820 to see if this works with all different devices. But we'll test that, of course, as well to see at which point is your happy medium and is the best place to run this device. Now let's get started. So the starter kit comes with this little microphone, which has an XLR at the back end. It's adjustable. Nice. Okay. Now for other accessories, we have an XLR to, well, stereo. Nice. And we have more accessories. It looks like we have a regular audio cable, as we can see right here. We also have... Oh, it looks like a mobile phone one. We could see three lines. Let's see if I can get a better view of that. So three lines. This is normally used for mobile phones and the two lines. Oh, they're both three lines. Now for some extra details of this device, you can connect two different microphones to it. So not a problem there. And since it comes with these lines here, you can see three lines, this cable here, you can connect your Android or iPhone with your lightning adapter or Android Type-C adapter. Both adapters will be in my description below. And that way you can actually get the sound out to your phone and do your videos. We have a USB Type-A, that's the rectangular one, and a USB Type-C. So in the package we have this female USB-C and we have this male USB-C. It says this is for mobile phone and we can see right here some little bit of information that you can read and that says mobile device adapter plug into Mano Caster Lite when using a smartphone or tablet. So at the back of this device it looks like we have our power button, we have a light on or off it looks like, we have our USB-C this could be to PC, we have our output, another output, another out wow that's a lot of outputs. We also have a music input, so it looks like I'll be able to run sound through auxiliary into this device. That, that's quite interesting. It's almost like a DJ device here that you can do that with. And you have a headset port. We have a mic 1 in and a mic 2 in. Sweet deal. So when you look at this here, we have our low. That's going to be the low deep tones. We have our mids. That's our mid-range normal speaking sound. Uh, the volume for that. And we have the high pitch tones right here okay now if i turn these up it's going to boost my volume up a bit as well but one thing that's really cool is being able to actually control that and a major everything else like this like this like this hello my friend so right now i got the meono connected the au am 200 as you can see on my phone and I'm going to play some music here. Your music volume control is right here. And our volume control for a microphone is here. And make sure you're speaking close to this microphone because you pretty much have to if you want some good volume without exceeding the mic. Because if I start to go higher, listen to this. I'm going to crank it right up. And turn it back down. You can see that there was a lot of hiss, I'm sure, when I turned it to max just for that moment there. This is DJ Eric. Testing out the microphone. Yeah. This is a different effect. Almost like a course. Hmm. Let's see how this sounds. This is MC Eric trying the MC beat. You see right here? We see the Me Ono. And you've talked through that direction. Because if I were to turn this mic around, you'll see that I drop off on volume very quickly. And when I'm facing back, and you can hear me properly. So we stay down around midway point, maybe slightly higher. But don't go higher than that if you want nice, clean audio. 
your mic bomb can go seem to go higher without being too much of a problem. And listen if there's any hiss. But I'd recommend being a little lower, of course, rather than uh, getting this red line right up because that kind of uh, that way you at least keep it nice in a friendly area. The audio you're hearing right now is connected directly to camera. There's no PC connected here. I'm using the headphone out to the camera itself. And I could always use the, say, the output itself and go to mobile phone or whatever as well. But I found the headphone, I think, is slightly more silent, I think. Anyways, and uh, I have my monitor volume affects the volume to my camera. And you want to make sure you're not redlining or getting too close to redlining at all on the camera if you do it this way. And you want to might want to pre-test on your mobile phone to make sure everything is nice and clear. Now, this is your volume for your mic. And, of course, denoise helps the sound be better. So if I turn off denoise. Noise cancelling off. You can hear there's more noise in the background. It's not too shabby itself. But you can tell there's definitely more noise. Noise cancelling on. Now, we have all these different settings. Of course, you can do the cheering or whatever. Let's do some cheering. <laughs> Let's press it again. So anyways, you got these program buttons. If I press this, slow it up, but you don't hear any sound. You have to turn up the music knob. I'm going to go blank. I'm going to turn this off, power off, and let's see if this and works. And then you can listen to my recording. Or if I'm here. Now, are we recording? We're recording now, this. What if I want to cancel? This is I just press one of the ones I haven't programmed in, and it will cancel that from playing back. So that's one of those things here. You can add some other cheering or applause to whatever key up to you you can also input through input for uh, music and then you can start saving that as well being what you sing or what music I'm playing because here if you notice now are we recording that was music playing through Bluetooth when I was speaking and I recorded that there recording so what if I want to record okay I'm gonna put this proper on me here yeah, of course the microphone has better here than it does here so we can see we can see the difference and that's why i keep the microphone normally in front of my face but yeah and you can hear that now and i can record it now since oh loopback has to be on first let's loop turn that on. on once loopback's on now i can record and as it flashes, that you can see right now, it is recording. You might wonder if there's any delay with the headset. There's a very, 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 very small delay. Pause the song and press as playback. It flashes, that you can see right now, it is recording. You might wonder if there's any delay with the headset. There's a very, 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 very small delay. I can hear a slight echo, but it sounds kind of cool because it makes me sound bad. No PC directly to camera. You just got to be mindful of your volume that you're going through. And that's why my monitor volume is like super low because you get super loud volume through this really easily through the headphone out, which is connected right now. And I have the headphones connected to uh, output. And yeah, it works. I can hear everything. But of course, what's the problem of connected this way? If I click click pitch, you can hear what it says. Female. I can hear female. So that is that. Male. And you hear male. And there's that. Baby. Baby Eric, sing a song. Baby Eric now. Robot. Robot. Surrender, human. Surrender. <laughs> yeah, you really are so lucky to do. Female. So, oh, and I'm going to change my pro. Press effect or whatever. I'm a pro, and pro has a bit of an echo, but I can add a lot more to it, because when I do that, I can use my echo slider. Pop. MC. Original. 
And when you're an original, you can't use your slider for echo. It just doesn't work. It's turned out a bet, and I'm talking to the road NTG. How am I coming through? You can do whatever mic seems. It even has power output to turn on your road NTG or whatever mic. How about the Sennheiser? Hmm, let's try that too as well. I'll have to play this back to see how it sounds. I don't know why. You can't tell why. It just seems to work, but it is crazy. I can connect anything and I'm not be lazy. I can connect it to the Miano, connect it to NTG, connect it to Sennheiser. Hey, it's between you and me. This is a song we play and this rocks today. This is DJ Eric coming to you live. Yay! Yeah! What you think? Yes. Your applause is appreciated. The question is, does it save after you powered on and powered off? Okay, let's do a loop back. And I'm going to do a test. So I'm going to clear. Clearing. And now I'm going to power this. And we're going to go blank. So I'm going to turn this off power off and let's see if this works let's see if it actually saved and i don't hear my oh wait why off power off oh it did let's save see if this works power this to charge to save what i'm saying right now and we'll go blank so i'm gonna turn this off power off and let's see if this works so uh, yeah, it saves anyways. It saves and uh, even after power off. So pretty cool there. Pretty cool. The audio you're hearing right now is from the Sennheiser. How is the tone right now? I'm going to turn denoise off and listen for any difference. This is a Sennheiser and I turned denoise off. Is there any difference in tone? There's probably going to be a bit more hiss, but this is just a test. Now, one thing you can do that's really cool is you can turn the power on the device off and it still records. So right now, it's still recording to PC despite the device being powered off and simply connected to the PC. How am I coming through? Now, here's a quick conclusion. When it comes to your low, mid, and high, try not to exceed about 60% of the way or else you'll introduce more noise into your recording. And your record level out to your PC shouldn't be past about 70-ish to 60%. And then you'll get clearer audio. And your mic min-max, probably no higher than about 75% as well. If you want the best audio for what you're getting. Directly to the camera is not actually that bad of an option. It's actually pretty clear. Pretty impressive that way. Now, when it comes to doing professional work, I wouldn't call this such a professional device as a hobbyist device. You could use it for game streaming or, say, podcasting, but it's not absolutely clean. But you hear it's actually pretty decent, as long as you know what you're doing. This is Eric and Abau, so I hope you enjoyed my overview review of this device. It works quite well. It's something to have for fun. And you can change the USB cable. It's not proprietary. And you could use it with your phone as well. So it's pretty cool that way. Very compatible. Awesome. Thanks for watching and have yourselves a most wonderful day.